Hey, Carl DeStefano here. <clears throat> um, I first, uh, when I was first learning to create videos and and create a YouTube channel and, and all that, it was about six or seven months ago in the winter of 2020. Um, I, uh, I recorded T for Two rather hastily and was still learning how to set the equipment, you know, the microphone and and everything and so uh, I wasn't very pleased with the performance and uh, so I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, make a, another recording of it now and I want to add some information as well um, it was written in 1942 by Vincent Yeomans and Ir with lyrics by Irving Caesar and it was a pretty popular tune for a long for over the years it was uh, it was in a movie, maybe in a, at least in one movie. You can look that up and find it on YouTube. And uh, uh, it was I don't know when it started to be played as a cha cha, but it was very commonly played as a, a cha cha. You know, so you could dance the cha cha to it. And uh, it was it was widely known for years. And uh, so <clears throat> and it was. Uh, it has special significance for me, not because of all of that, but because it was, I'll call it the signature song of my musical mentor, uh, Tony Hosaffel. I met Tony when I was about 20 years old. I, start, I had started playing the guitar at about age 18, and I was playing, you know, cowboy chords and uh, using a capo and uh, playing folk music. In a, in a group with some friends and uh, that was about it and there was uh, <laughs> I suppose uh, dominant uh, you know I mean uh, major triads a few dominant seventh chords and uh, uh, that was, I don't I probably we probably didn't even need a minor chord for this folk music we were playing so very simple music I was playing devoid of all complexity and when I met Tony, who he was, he was a great guitar player, by the way, and he also played electric bass, very well, played in bands in Omaha, and he had played guitar in a, in a Viennese orchestra prior to his electric bass career, and um, uh, so I heard him play all these. When I met him, he was playing all these American songbook songs, you know, beautiful tunes. Tony never played a bad tune. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't play a bad tune. Uh, my aunts would ask him to play some corny tune. He'd say, "No, I'm not playing that." <laughs> he called it drunk. He called those tunes drunken singing songs, and he wouldn't play them. The cor the song had to have some musical value, or he wouldn't play it. <laughs> he was a piece of work. Great musician. So he's playing all these these beautiful tunes and playing all these chord changes that I had never heard before. You know, chromatic changes, diminished chords, ninths, flatted fifths, raised fifths, major sevenths. Wow. Just blew me away. And he played T for two um, a special way. He played it finger style. And he played the chords and the melody and the bass line all at the same time. And I heard that, and I went, whoa, wow, I want to do that. You know, not realizing how much work it was going to be, of course. But, um, and when I first learned it, um, I played it pretty much exactly the way he played it. Over the years, though, I added my own ideas to it, which I think he, if he were alive today, he would, he would like. I, I think I've added value uh, uh, but he got me started on that, on playing fingerstyle actually, and uh, which I still do today. So T for two. He played it in the key of F, and so will I.
Picture you upon my knee, T for two, and two for T, me for you, and you for me, me alone. Nobody near us to see us or hear us, no friends or relations weekend vacations. We won't let it know, dear, that we on a telephone. Day will break, and you'll awake, and start to bake a sugar cake for me to take, for all the boys to see. Can't you see how happy we would be? Thanks again to my musical mentor, Tony Hosaffel, for this wonderful version of T for Two. <laughs>